Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back. It's episode 2 of the Cold Waters campaign, where I'm operating on the global map. My current mission is to deal with a couple of cruisers. So far, I've only been at war for 10 days. I have managed to sink quite a bit of tonnage, including a submarine, four warships, for a total of five. This has given me 115 prestige, I'm not exactly sure what that means. And my crew has gotten more experienced, I'm not exactly sure what that means either. I'm running the epic mods, which you can find linked down below in the description. And I'm currently tasked with protecting the Norwegian Sea. Because supposedly there is a battle group coming out of Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. And they're going to head towards my operations area. They might already be around Africa. That's where I'm sort of expecting them. I thought in the last episode that I found them. Because I was able to eliminate a... Uh, what was it? A Kara class cruiser, I think. And the objective is to find and drop, aka eliminate, enemy cruisers. I just don't know where they are. And despite all of our efforts, nobody else does, by the looks of it. So, as I'm a little bored, let's go pick a fight with the guys over down here. There seems to be a potent Soviet force coming out of the Mediterranean. Don't know where they're going. Don't expect it's my target. That's fine. Target's a good target. I just really don't want to have to run to them. I'd rather run in front of them. And... Oh, really? Stop. Come at me, bro. Here we go. Contacts. Bearing 352, designate 01. We got a moderate surface duct. Some way to hide behind that would be nice. Man battle stations. Con, our new How many? Two, and what two, and where? Retrieve the array. No, don't retrieve it. Deploy it. We're gonna set a course for the southeast. So we can figure out what these contacts are. The noisiest ones first. They're generally the most noisy ships. It could be a poti, I suppose. Could raise the ECM mast. Sorry, ESM mast. <clears throat> just to get a bit more information. Oh, I need to be 16 meters. Okay, my bad. The periscope depth. I really don't want to give my position away, though. If there is a massive Soviet group, I really don't want to. Do not want to give my position away. Let's have a listen. Protection threshold is too high. Okay, pull that thing back in. We've got a lot of contacts here. We're up to Sierra 11, Master 4. This guy has been detected on not only radar but also ESM. Same for Master 5. <clears throat> okay. What are you, big guy? Merchant ships don't use radar. At least I, as far as I know in this game. Kirov. Lovely. Master, five is classified as Master 4. Ship. Sovremeni. Another one. We got Sierra 8. Is classified as escort. More cruisers. More fun times. Where are you? Con, helm, steady course. Go on. What are we looking at? Rather, what are we listening to? Are you just a regular merchant in the middle of a Soviet convoy? find that unlikely. It's possible. It's... Oh. Yep. Merchant. Shit. I don't want to have to just worry about merchants as there are a lot of Soviet warships about. That's going to make my life more difficult. Okay. 
Come on. I suspect this is yet another ear. It's another merchant. No, sorry, it's a many. Really big merchant. What do we have here? Poti, most likely. Got a 43% solution here, 31 here. CR2, what are you? It could be another escort, considering its position close to the Sovereigny, the Poti, and the Sovereigny. It's fairly loud, but not as loud as a cruiser. Well, I say that, but it could be another Kara. This could be the group we're looking for, because this is the Kirov, 28,000 tons, and this is the Kara. Alright. So we might have found our targets. They're just kind of holed up in the middle of a group of merchants. Rather the other way around, the group of, or the, the merchants are sort of mingling with the enemy battle group. I don't think they should allow that. Sonar, Communist Sierra, MS is classified as merchant. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to shoot that. Come on, surely you got more escorts than one sovereign many. What else? What else do you bring to the table? No. It would be bad if it's yet another Kirov. That is close. Row, row. Oh, it's another merchant? It's not quite a partisan. We're back in warship territory now. It's a partisan. No. I'm gonna let the game figure it out for now. <clears throat> Zero seven. Quite noisy. Twenty-eight on the LF. VLF toad array has a better sound to noise ratio. Come on. No, that's not it. Could be a Dubna. Okay, we're going to have to be really, really quiet here. Where's the layer? There. There's the duct. Time for grass for a bit. Chilikin. Is that hostile or no? This is what we're looking at. This is the Chilikin. I don't know. I don't know. These MS are merchant ships. But what this guy is... 07. Yeah, this is flying a Soviet flag. Anything flying a Soviet flag, as far as I'm concerned, is fair game. There's the Kirov. Range. 17 clicks out. <clears throat> this is a big guy. Kirov. 28,000 tons. I'm not sure if one torpedo is going to be enough to sink this. We might need two and potentially even three. Now, as these guys are approaching me, what I'm thinking of doing is um, preparing a torpedo, one of my simulators, aka decoys, to go potentially towards them and one heading in a different direction, like the opposite direction. I'm going to be heading this direction. So that they don't exactly know where I'm going. That's the plan. And that way, hopefully, they'll be unable to track me. They'll have too many different tracks. Too many different opportunities. Or too many different potentials that they need to track. That they will be very confused. Range is good. It's 17 kilometers out. We can let them close in a bit more. Con sonar, Sierra three is and then I'm probably going to just send escort. a couple of torpedoes at them. Why is the Kirov jumping all the way around now?
Of the many. Pretty good track. 80, 83, 85. There. Just of the many. Our new contact bearing. One, nine, nine. Designated Sierra. Oh one, dear. Two. Really quiet. Something that's really quiet could be a submarine. Like a diesel electric boat. Because I'm not even picking it up on the passive arrays on my ship. It's just or sorry, my boat. It's just the, the tow array. Build me a better solution on this thing. It's gonna take me a while. Class of Grisha. There's the Chilikin. So for many. Now 10 kilometers out. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send one Moss that way. One Moss that way. Don't care, don't care. Reload. You're going to be looking for surface targets. Active torpedo. Go for the Sovremeni. Activate. Immediately reload. We're going to be needing these torpedoes pretty soon. Next target. Go here. Reload. Next. There. Reload. Okay, we're going to go down. Below the layer. And we're going to start to increase speed. We got our torpedoes dumped. Now I need to make my way out of here. Increase speed. Go to 10 knots. I don't want to cavitate yet. That'd be bad. I do want to get below that layer. So, the three fast ones, that's the torpedoes. This is a simulator, and this is a simulator slash decoy. Okay, tubes one through four are reloaded. Tube five and six are reloaded. What I want them to think is that this is, in fact, the Seawolf. This guy over here. This torpedo is... Probably gonna get spoofed by the torpedo decoy. At least initially. There, just dropped another noisemaker. I cannot influence these torpedoes as opposed to last episode because I already cut the wires. Remote control is not a thing. There's the target though. Something just popped a torpedo at me. Make that two torpedoes. Boom! Sovereign Manny's done. Good. You're down. Here. See, what I think is happening is that they have detected the submarine simulator. So the plan is working. The decoy has been seen as a torpedo. Or as a submarine. And the contact here launched a torpedo at it. I'm not too sure what the rest of my torpedoes are up to. Maybe they have all hit the Sovereign at this point. That's possible. So just toss the torpedo overboard. So the Sovereign up there. Yeah, I'm assuming whatever out air is hostile. Still got nine torpedoes in the racks. Still got a few left. Look at this. This is the decoy. And those two torpedoes are instantly attracted to it. This plan worked really well. Because now, hopefully, the torpedoes and the decoy are going to be making such noise that they will not be aware of this torpedo here. Look at that. You missed me. Because I'm not actually a submarine. Here comes the next one. Boom. Missed me. <laughs> not a submarine. Need to do better. Con sonar. Noise maker bearing two. This Zero. guy one. has picked something up. What I don't know is whether my own torpedoes can detect my own mobile submarine simulator. That would be interesting. Oh, there's something else launching from here. And here. 
And here? Oh. Right. That's the torpedoes going for the Kirov. There's a noisemaker over there. It's a busy day. Busy, busy day. For all parties involved. It looks like this guy is going to track the Sovereign Many. And most likely eliminate it. That would be the destruction of another escort. I'm not sure what this torpedo is going to be going for, but I don't think it'll be useful. Yep, hit. So for many, he's down. I'm not sure what this torpedo is tracking particularly. It's definitely getting returns on something. Yeah, the torpedo is also attracted to my own decoy. But that submarine that launched these torpedoes still has to be out there. What is CR-12? Is that the Tango? It could be. The problem is, the Tango is not necessarily my biggest target. So, I don't really need to eliminate it now. But if I can, then that is interesting. Because he could very well be detecting me. Let's have this torpedo potentially go for the Grisha. Yep, there's the Tango. And I don't mean that as target, but this is actually a Tango class submarine. The torpedo. This guy has a problem. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, what was this? Two, one, zero. Sierra 7 Dubna. That's not what I was intentionally or what I was actually looking for. Go on. Here's your target. Here. Boom. Alright. So I sunk something here over here. Um, it is a Russian flag. It is a fair game target. The Kirov is doing all sorts of circles. The Torpedo 1 over here. I think is tracking this Grisha. Reload Tube 2. Yep, he's going for the Grisha. Works for me. That's another escort down. Now, the question, do I wait for the ships to go down and then launch with the risk of the Kirov leaving, or do I re-engage? Because I still have the torpedoes for it. I even have the anti-ship missiles for it. I just think that the Kirov has more opportunity to take down the missiles than my torpedoes. Yeah, I think this Grisha is making a run for it. 30 knots. Out of 34 knots. But they're in a turn, so they're probably losing some speed in the turn. And what's that in front of you? That's... A cruiser? Is that the Kara? Possible. Come on, Torpedo. Gotta get rid of this target. Shit, he popped the noisemaker. Okay. Let's instruct this torpedo that is being bamboozled. But the target is, in fact, to the left. There. So far, I've been really efficient with my weapons, and I would like to keep it that way. Don't care about the noisemaker. This is what I need to sink. I've been really efficient with my torpedoes. I haven't spent more than one torpedo on one target. Kirov is still very healthy. Yeah, the Grisha was looking at the Kirov. There. Okay. Standard torpedo load. Surface target. Go. 
The Kara is also still out there. Yeah, let's send them something else. Carry on. That's a troller. That's a non-combatant. <laughs> the simulator is still attracting torpedoes. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Torpedo 2. I need you to go here. I'm not sure whether Kirov is doing some donut maneuver. Crazy Ivan, perhaps? Okay, we have acquired the Kirov. What? Oh. Did you just launch a torpedo? I think he did. I just have no idea what he's going for. Unless... Unless that is his version of a decoy. So my torpedo is instantly attracted to this nonsense. I'm going to have to pull this guy all the way up from the bottom. We're looking for a surface target, silly. Don't go diving for... No, 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 no. This torpedo really has a mind of its own. There's no shipwreck down there, so that's not what they're going... Well, actually, there is. Yes, my bad. There's a shipwreck down there. That's what he's attracted to. Because it's an active torpedo, so it's looking for a big target profile. That's the deal. There. There's your target profile. You gonna jump out of the water? I was thinking about it. Let's see. Torpedo 3. Prepare to go active. Go here. If I can sink this Kirov, I think I might have the objective complete. That'd be great. I'm just not sure if one Torp will do it. But if not, then at least the ship will probably be crippled. Hard on a turn to port. I doubt it'll be sufficient. And they cannot pop a noisemaker now. Target's too close. Boom. Now that hit them. Didn't sink them. At least not yet. Reload tube too. Go active. I wonder if that target will flood. Let's first eliminate this guy. Torpedo doesn't care about the noisemaker. Dead. Kara is down. Oh fuck, there's a merchant out there. Shit. Okay. The Kirov is very badly listing. I wonder if this guy is going to sink or not. Considering the amount of damage that he's taken? It could succumb to the damage. Or I could help it along. Let's go and help it along. Tube 2. Target Kirov. Master 5. I'm not sure exactly where Sierra 11 went. That is something else that I might need to investigate. <clears throat> Although, I've already sunk a decent portion of the Russian Navy so far. So I'm not unhappy about the effects thus far. Surprised they still have propulsion. It seems like the torpedo struck them amidships right in their engineering. Guess not. Okay. Torpedo 2. Hold, hold. You're not picking the right target there, buddy. This is the right target. Same hit. Boom. Now I got you. Okay. That's the cruiser. 
Right. Properly eliminate it. Hmm. Instantly rolls over to port and sinks. Now, I know this is a trawler. This is the chilikin that I'm not sure if I can engage. Can I see that? Yeah, it's a Russian flag. I can engage that. I just don't have a harpoon, and I think a Tomahawk anti-ship missile for a ship like this is a bit rich. As for CRS 11 and 9... Hmm. Let them live. I think we're good. I do want to load torpedoes, though. Um, and reload a moss here. Because this worked amazingly well. So let's reload this. And reload tube 6. Sorry, tube 5. There we go. Leave. The Chilikin survived and escaped. That's the only one that was able to leave from the enemy group there. Experience gained 93,000. Prestige earned 40. Excellent work, Captain. Your neutralization of such a high priority target has seriously reduced the enemy's ability to obstruct transatlantic convoys. Commander of the United States Navy, Atlantic Ocean regards to you and your team. New orders to be sent on this downlink soon. Perfect. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Silver Star. Not bad. So, what is the next mission? Permanent convoy. Convoys from the North America from North America continue to transport cargo to Western Europe with minimal losses. This is due to the effectiveness of NATO naval forces. The convoy system worked in World War One and World War Two, and it still works today. It also happens to deal or it happens to do something with me sinking one of their larger groups in the North Sea. Let's see. What are we doing next? Intelligence detected loading of torpedoes and other cargoes on supply ships in Port of Murmansk. It is assumed that this supply convoy will go to the area south of Chile. Interesting. You're ordered to go and find and sink this convoy until the enemy receives reinforcements. You may also be given a chance to meet enemies of submarines. Nice. That is what I'm going to be doing next episode. Let me know how you guys are enjoying these episodes by posting down below in the comments and hitting a like if you are enjoying it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next.